Time is the ninth studio album by English rock band Electric Light Orchestra credited as Elo. It was released in July 1981 by Jet Records in the United Kingdom and in August 1981 by Columbia Records in the United States. It topped the UK Albums Chart for two weeks. Time is a concept album written about a man from the 1980s who is taken to the year 2095, where he is confronted by the dichotomy between technological advancement and a longing for past romance. Time is a work of synth pop that combines elements from 1950s music, new wave, reggae, rockabilly, The Beatles, Phil Spector, and The Shadows. The album signaled a departure from the band's sound by emphasizing electronics over its usual orchestra. It is also the band's second concept album, the first being Eldorado in 1974. The music video created for its lead single, Hold On Tight, was the most expensive ever made to that point, with a budget of approximately £40,000. Four more singles followed the album's release, Twilight. Ticket to the Moon, backed with Here is the News, Rain is Falling, and The Way Life's Meant to Be. The record attracted a cult following of retrofuturist enthusiasts. It is considered the first major concept album devoted to time travel as well as ELO's most influential album, Twilight, became popularly known for its use in the 1983 animated short Daikon IV opening animation. In 2001, a CD reissue of Time included three additional tracks that were originally left off the LP. <laughs> <laughs> Background and recording Time followed the album's discovery, on which Ello had dispensed with their three-man string section although orchestration was used on the album, and Xanadu, the soundtrack to the 1980 musical film of the same name, which was met with a mixed reception. On time, bandleader Jeff Lynne chose to emphasize electronics over the band's orchestral sound. He wrote a collection of songs with a theme that focused on time travel and civilization in the year 2095. The album's musical style draws from the 1950s, new wave, reggae, rockabilly, and the work of artists such as The Beatles, Phil Spector, and The Shadows. Writing for Pop Matters, Kevin Matthews says that the album reflects Lynn's absorption in the UK synth pop sound popularised by contemporary artists such as Gary Newman, OMD, and Human League. Ello recorded time mainly at Musicland Studios in Munich, Germany, with some sessions taking place at Polar Studios in Stockholm, Sweden. Three additional songs written in the album's context were recorded, but left off the release. Bouncer. When Time Stood Still, and Julie Don't Live Here. These songs were instead issued as B-sides of later singles. Topic concept and storyline Lynn's comments on the album's concept are as follows. In 1981, a man drifts into a state of twilight, twilight where he appears to have entered the year 2095, meets a gynoid yours truly, 2095, and reflects on the 1980s, back when things were so uncomplicated, ticket to the moon. Walking down the same street from a hundred years before, he is dismayed by the plastic ivory towers which have grown on top of it the way life's meant to be. As he remains in this future period, he looks out his window depressed, watching the world go by rain is falling. He attempts to send a letter in the form of a dream to his girlfriend in the past, but fails from the end of the world. When asked whether the man's experiences had been a dream all along, Lynn responded, This is what I'd like to know, because it's baffled me since I wrote it, if he has actually gone to the future, or if he's just thinking about it. It could be real, or it could be a dream. I'm not sure. I'd rather not say, because I don't know either. I'm supposed to, but I don't. Matthews writes, like Eldorado, time contained a prologue and an epilogue. Although there is hardly any plot to thread the various songs together, the theme remains largely intact. They embellish, rather than engage, a recurring line that appears in the album's epilogue as, though you ride on the wheels of tomorrow, you still wander the fields of your sorrow. 
Rockall's writer says that the protagonist revisits the place he once lived only to find that it has become unrecognizable, the way life's meant to be. Afterwards, he hopes that he may be able to return home with a time machine, but with all their great inventions and all their good intentions, here I stay, rain is falling. Following his final attempt to return to the past, the protagonist is invited to hold on, hold on tight. Author Adam Roberts calls time a future set rock opera. According to music journalist Mark Beaumont, it is a concept album about a man who is abducted forward in time to the year 2095. While the web publication Rockle and Stereo Review magazine both recognize time as being about a man who becomes trapped in the future. The News and Advances Ben Cates says it tells the story of a man living in the year 2095 who glimpses enough of the future to know that he wants to get back to the 1980s. <laughs> Topic. Release and reception Time reached number one in the UK Albums Chart, maintaining the position for two weeks. The album received polarizing reviews by music critics. The change in the band's sound, particularly the lack of orchestral strings, came as a considerable shock to some ELO fans. On release, Stereo Review said that the band has slimmed down some and grown out of its twin electric cello phase, but it can still give you a case of the grandiosities. You'll find great sweeps of melody and plenty of high and low and loud and soft sounds for your expensive hi-fi equipment to chew on." The reviewer remarked of the album's concept, "...ironically, all he the narrator does the whole time is whine about how he misses good old 1981 and the girl he left back there." You want to shake him by the shoulders and say, man, have you no sense of adventure? Deborah Frost of Rolling Stone called the storytelling a superfluous thematic conceit and said that, with the reliance on synthesized sounds, if ELO's not careful, they're going to end up becoming the kind of cheese that squirts out of an aerosol can. She described the album as a cross between the Beatles' SGT. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band and the 1960s science fiction television show Star Trek. Yet as long as Jeff Lynne's future vision Beatlemania comes in near-perfect top 40 spurts, why moan? In his retrospective review for Pop Matters, Kevin Matthews says that, despite Lynne's decision to embrace a new, synth-pop sound, in essence, time remained a quintessential Elo album. Matthews adds. Once again, Lynn's melodic craft, technical expertise, production skills and encyclopedic pop authority made time a treasure for all true connoisseurs of classic pop music. Surprisingly, this reissue reveals an artist ahead of his time as time stands head and shoulders above the hip electro-pop records of the day." The quietus Joseph Stannard said that time is a "...very good album indeed." highlighting Twilight as the most exciting song ever recorded. Pulsating, momentous, charged with purpose and overstuffed with hooks, counter hooks, sub hooks and semi hooks, Twilight makes being abducted by time travelers sound like the most fun you can have. Writing in The Guardian, Mark Beaumont listed Twilight as the tenth best song of ELO's career for its space-age cathedral sizzle, warp speed pacing and the sort of brazen futuristic hooklines that proved they gave that Flash Gordon gig to the wrong band." Allmusic's James Crispell assessed the album as less than great formulaic work by Ello, noting a resemblance to work by the Alan Parsons Project and Wings rather than Lynn's "...fascination with Pepper-era Beatles." Topic. Legacy According to Beaumont, Time is the most influential album of ELO's catalogue. The book The Time Traveler's Almanac cites it as the first major concept album devoted entirely to time travel. 
Rockall states that while Time is not one of the most celebrated Elo albums, it has attracted a cult following from those interested in retrofuturism. Among the albums, Unexpected fans are The Flaming Lips and Daft Punk. In an early 1980s Rolling Stone magazine interview, Steve Winwood said that ELO's Time had influenced him. Ladyhawk has stated that ELO's Time is one of her five favorite albums. In 1983, Twilight was used as the soundtrack for the Daikon IV opening animation, an animated music video created for the 1983 Nihon SF Teike convention. According to academic Mark W. McWilliams, the convention would go down as one of the most famous otaku events of all time. In 1998, Cher sampled a synth sound from Prologue and Epilogue. At the beginning of her number one hit single, Believe, Hold On Tight, was featured in Coffee Achievers, a 2008 Honda Accord car ad campaign, and included in the 2011 Tom Hanks and Julia Roberts film Larry Crown. <laughs> Topic. Track listing All tracks written by Jeff Lynne Topic. Personnel Ello Jeff Lynn, lead and backing vocals, electric and acoustic guitars, piano, synthesizers, vocoder, production Bev Bevan, drums, percussion Richard Tandy, acoustic and electric pianos, synthesizers, vocoder, guitars Kelly Grukit, bass guitar, backing vocals Additional personnel Bill Bottrell, engineer Mac, engineer Strings conducted by Rainer Peach <laughs> Charts <laughs>